this accident though uh, on 24 sky five is just arrived to the scene. They are flying over it. Sorry that it is a little hard to see. We've got a cloud layer here, but they're going to zoom down to where they are trying to clear this tractor trailer cargo fire. Now they've put the fire out. They only have one lane though open at this time. They do have crews that are on the scene that are working to get this out of the way here. You can see it's a pretty big deal with them trying to clear this out. A lot of people there working very fast uh, to try to get this clear for rush hour. This is the exact same spot where we had issues yesterday because of an injury crash that shut down 24. So I know drive times were bad yesterday. Drive times are also looking bad today. We only have one lane you can see right there uh, that you're going to be able to get through. That's why our drive times coming in from Pleasant View over an hour right now, almost an hour and a half coming in from Hopkinsville, and we're looking at an 83 minute drive in from Clarksville. Some alternate routes you can take Clarksville Highway. Use the New Hope Road exit. That's going to be before you get to where this cargo fire is, but it's still going to be pretty slow going to even get there. From there, you can hop on White Screen Pike, and that is going to be your best bet to get into downtown. Now, with these drive times, again, they've been working to clear this all morning long. Uh, Hannah McDonald has been there on the scene. Hannah, are they making any progress? They just brought in an excavator, Heather, so they're using that machinery to scoop up some of the sawdust, which is compromising an entire lane. Stepping out of the way, you can see that thing is digging into the pile of sawdust, which was on the tractor when it caught fire this morning. It ignited around 345, so it has been more than two hours sitting here. Fire trucks are back, too, because they're worried with all of this activity involving the sawdust, pushing it out of the way, another fire could start. We do have Sky 5 checking things out for us this morning right here by exit 35. Travelers that are going eastbound on I-24 are rolling past this slowly because there is a lot of activity in the right lane and there were delays back into Cheatham County. So five miles or so of slowdown here while they try and clear this. Looking back live now, there are several workers too here using shovels, doing everything they can to get the sawdust off the road. They expect the clearing now not to be done until about 9 a.m. In Jolton, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.